Hello, Princess Casserole here, and I am here with a bit different of a video. I have compared previously um, buying a jewelry jar, like I have here, with buying lottery tickets. So, what I thought is, why not actually compare buying a jewelry jar, which this one I got from savers it was $24.99 versus buying the same amount of lottery tickets and will I make my money back will I break even will I win some I don't know but I thought it would be a fun comparison to compare lottery tickets versus a jewelry jar I seriously lost on every single one of these. Wow. <laughs> I don't think I've ever lost that much on scratch off tickets. Crazy. So, uh,. <laughs> <laughs> the jewelry jar doesn't have much to, to compete with. So now we are going to see what is in Das jewelry jar. Um, and that's what it looks like. Again, <laughs> it looks like somebody donated the jar and they used it again, which I do as well. Um, this one has an awful lot of tape, and of course, I didn't bring anything to get the tape. Because I never do. I have this, some wire cutters. A little excessive. <laughs> this tape is getting everywhere. Alrighty, that is all we're doing. That's it. I got it all that I'm gonna get. So, cheap mirrored bangle. None of the mirrors are missing, but it's still really cheap. Um, silver bangles with some wear issues. More of them. More. I swear, if I get a jewelry jar without bangles, it would be like the end of the world, I suppose. This one's kind of nice, but it's in really bad shape. Same with this. Um, that one's okay. Let's see. That's cute. All right. This one puts it aside. This one is cute if it wasn't broken and rusting. So that I'm just going to throw away. And 
like, yeah. I love those, but no. Uh, this one's not bad. It's kind of heavy. You know, it's old, kind of 80s looking, but... <sighs> God bless America pin. I'll put it over. Donate. These are not marked at all. They're not bad. They're like the dichroic beads free gift or um, it's an okay condition I get a lot of these World University games I don't know what I'm, I would do with those this is in bad shape um, that's pretty cheap Cheapy, cheapy. Let's see. Flares. Cross. It's actually not in terrible condition, though. Another one of those. Um, and then this is like maybe a Mayan calendar or something. It looks like some some kind of calendar. So that one we're going to keep. That's neat. This is not in good shape. And this is really, like, this I think is plastic. Just a little earring. This doesn't seem to be in great shape either. This is like for a kid. I don't know. Doesn't have anything else with it. Express, but this is not in the greatest shape. It's got a lot of um, loss on the metal. That's interesting. I don't know. Different. That one we'll keep. We will also keep this. There's missing two, but um, it's a little bent on here with some loss back here, but um, actually there's more than two missing, so it might be in there. We'll put it to the side. That's cute. This one we'll keep. That's cute. Nineteen eighty five. The design of it. That's neat though. This is a tiger's eye stretch bracelet. An enamel earring. These are cheap. They're not marked or anything. I don't even think they go together. Just a chain. I actually kind of like these older chain styles, so. Keep that one. That looks like wood. Let's see if we get the other one. And these are made out of paper with magazines. Magnetic clasp. It's really long. Um, I, some people like these. Um, it's a very long one. 
this one we've got two of they're not like a really nice pair but that could be a free gift let's get two of these like kid kid ones these seem okay black hoops that one like i said it's kind of in bad shape i don't know why they just put these pins without the backs on them but lots of flags well that's cute and this looks like chain mail so i think this is broken that's probably why they threw it in here Let's see but that is easily fixable that's different no markings or anything on that one <sighs> clip. I think we have two of these. And ah, two of these. Now this jar has been sitting for a little while. This is actually kind of older. That's neat. The things are yellowed a little bit though. And this is not real. It's like a resin or plastic. Uh, cheap kids bracelet. So there are two of those. This is kind of cool. I don't, I don't know what to say about this one. <laughs> that one's gonna be donated. Just that. This is a pretty color. Um, probably put that in a lot. A little pretzels. Christmas pin. It's cute. Trying to find something worth it, too. But it is the season of love and laughter. Well, we'll see. That one's missing stones, too. And it's like got issues. This is a pin. Gotta find the pin back for it. it. Looks like Lennox almost. Lennox China. I really need to do a big like angel lot. Frank. My grandfather's name was Frank. This is huge. This is kind of cool. It's like really heavy. But I don't know anyone whose name is Frank. Mm, just a plain bracelet. Uh, this definitely don't, this guy, it's barrel class. These are very, very light. This one's all right. Lobster claw clasp. It's got pretty stones in it. Horseshoes. So this was an earring. I can fix those. Um, but I'll probably actually put different different clasps on them like these these are our shoe clips these are cute they look like they're in pretty good shape this is the mixed metal those are cute 
It looks like a little cubic zirconia. There's no writing or anything. Live, love, but on heart. They're like all three together. This little bracelet, charm bracelet. Oh, there's skulls. So that'll be nice for the right person. Bridegroom. Mickey, 2002. Oh, um, I know these usually have different backs. Oh, we're gonna throw one on there for now. I don't see any marks. This is much heavier bangle though, more substantial. So I'll probably keep this one. Do you guys see it? It's hard, hard for it to focus. So. Wait, what is this? Oh, that is kind of hideous. And these are like really cheap. And it's also broken. Ugh. All right, so this is cheap. I thought maybe it wouldn't be, but sometimes with these ones, you just have to feel them um, to know if it's they're nice or not. This one's missing stones. Uh, AAI. These are nice. This one's marked. It says Italy. 925 Italy. Then like 6V. So they just probably need to get shined up some. Those are nice. I have, I have no idea what this is. Cool. <laughs> That's got to be a band or movie or something reference that I'm just cutless to know that you're alive. I, I don't know. Oh, look, and here's the bride. So we had the bridegroom, and then we had the bride, and I need to find a back. Again, these usually have the little plastic minky backs. She's so cute. The bride and groom. That's adorable. <laughs> adorable. Alright, this one's alright. Doesn't look this would be way cuter as an anklet. I'll have to see if it is. If it would fit my ankle. Um, we'll see. Drill sergeant. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Cute. These don't, these aren't real stones. So we do have two of these. That's cute. Like I said, nice little plain ones. This is the kind of thing that I would give along, depending on what someone ordered, as like a free gift. Some pearls. This looks like copper. Yep. Solid copper. Not bad. Uh, this is why I bought it. I thought this looked like it might be silver, but... Yeah, anytime anyone walks by that person's house, the dog, like, barks like crazy. And I don't think it is marked. I don't think it is. Crazy. 
Korea. Here's another one of those. I don't know what that is. It's got to be some cartoon or something. Oh, that's cute. E E L. I don't know what that um, symbol is. If anyone does, let me know. Because this is actually nice. Looks like a nice necklace. That's heavy. That's cute. It just says B. That's cute. Um, I always check to make sure that these clasps aren't silver. Um, just because. That one. S-A-Q? I thought maybe it would say Avon or something. That's cute. Kind of a simple necklace. It's plastic. Just a plain chain. Nothing on it. This is broken. Again, check and make sure it's not sterling. Or you could scrap it too, you know. That's cute. They sound like maybe glass. And then there were more bangles. And this one also seems a little bit more sturdy than the other ones. That's in pretty bad shape, the snowman. And this one's broken, but I am going to I'm going to do it now because this is really cheap. So. I'm going to take the stone. It's a cheap stone, but you never know when you might use it. Need it. Toggle clasp. Uh, uh, this one's in pretty bad shape. Somebody's emergency bracelet? Is that what that is? Or is it something else? Japan. There's a sister class. There's nothing engraved on the back. Does anyone know what that is? It's like a hand and a star and a crown and a cross. I'm going to hold on to it until I can figure out what it is. Worthington? Well, there he goes again, see? Um, so this looks like kind of like a milk glassy, even though I don't think it is lo lobster claw and everything, but it's not bad. Oh, look! We do have the back. Oh, and there's the other one too. Nice. We have the backs for both of those. There we go. Cute! I don't even love Disney, but that's cute. So, one of these. This one is not really well made. And it's broken. Double whammy. We've got a lot of whammies today. Oh, this is neat. So, this is made out of clay. I know that because I did Clay Studio when I was in college. And I like this. I'm going to keep it. This is a necklace. There's no markings or anything. It's like shell and wood. And a snowflake. Bracelet. And one of those shell bracelets. You have to get in everything or it's just... Just not a jewelry bag or jar. And then we have a bat necklace. I like the bat. That's actually cute. I think it's like acrylic. I like the bat. 
Uh, yeah, I'll take a closer look at this one. The bell looks like it might be silver, but nothing else does. Everything else looks like bad quality. Um, and then there's one of these bangles. And these are made out of like Fimo clay. These are like a nut wood and a nut necklace. I don't know. Those would almost would be cute if I sell any of my Hawaiian stuff. I'm Let's see. This looks like. See, this is an anklet, I think. But it's not in the greatest of shape. Uh, why is there. I guess this hangs from your ear. And then that just hangs down. There are piece earrings. There are other random earrings in here too. So these ones matched. And this one matched. I think there's two of these ones. And then two of these silver ones. These aren't terrible. Oh, this is cute. There's no signature on this one. What is that though? Is that a dolphin or a fish? There's no missing rhinestones either and it's got enamel on it. This seems like a long thing for a dolphin, doesn't it? And like fins. It's gotta be a fish of some sort, but it almost looks like he's got a bill. I don't know. It's cute though. And then one of these glass ones. Um, so yeah, this is also made out of clay. And somebody signed it. So I'm gonna take this off. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the clay. I think that would actually be pretty cute to put on somebody's package and stuff in the fall, you know? Um, so I think these, these are kind of the nicest ones. I bet that would shine up nicely with the cloth. Um, these are cute. I might be able to sell those. They're 2002. Um... So I can't sell them on Etsy, but let's see if I can sell them somewhere else. So these are cute. I appreciate the things people make themselves. And there are a couple other cute things. This this necklace was nice with whatever the E E L is or whatever that symbol is. And this seemed substantial and almost like new. So there's some things in here. It's not the best one I've gotten, but um in the fish. I like the fish. Um and there's gonna be a good amount of stuff that I throw out. But that is all getting thrown out. I didn't win anything. So um, I think in this case, for this time, it is pretty plain to see what won. Zero dollars in lottery tickets, but I had fun scratching them off. And, you know, that has a cat on it. <laughs> or the jewelry jar. Um, but honestly, in this case, I don't think either one of them was, you know, through the roof this time. But hey, again, that's a gamble you take. It's a gamble. 
I knew I could lose. I figured I wouldn't lose on all of them, but I did. And I, I knew I could lose on the jewelry jar. Um, I wouldn't say I lost. Like I said, I, I do think those will clean up really nicely. And I like the shape. I think those are cool. And um, so I don't think I completely lost. So lottery tickets versus jewelry jar. I think the answer is clear this time. The match goes to jewelry jar. Let me know if you agree. <laughs> I don't know how you wouldn't in this this time. But um, please leave me a comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I do go live sometimes and we have fun here. So I like to pick up different ideas on what to do. So if you guys have any ideas on what you'd like to see me do or what you'd like to see maybe go against a jewelry jar, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, um, also leave that in the comments and uh, I will change and do things a little differently based on what you guys have to say. But otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.